Dirty George, welcome back to my channel. So for today's episode, we're going to do a flower arrangement. So I have a very special guest today. Her name is Carla of number 28. She is a freelance florist. So she's gonna teach us a DIY floral centerpiece arrangement, especially in this Christmas season and or any other special occasion, you can do this at your home. So introducing my good friend, Carla. Carla for joining us and also for giving your time to teach us about flower arrangements. So tell us about your journey on becoming a freelance florist. I know you're an architect by profession, so how did you become a florist? Okay, so uh, in a nutshell, I was trained in architecture school. I s studied and did architecture for about 10 years uh -huh. and uh, after 10 years, I kind of felt burnt out. <gasps> So after getting burned out after 10 years in the trade, I decided to take six months off work. I immersed myself in floristry. I en enrolled myself in a professional floral course in Singapore. And um, what can I say? I just fell in love, you know? It's like meeting your passion when you're okay. in your 30s, I guess. <laughs> okay, so to start, what are the materials that we need to do a flower arrangement? Okay, um, what we need we, it's so simple. Actually, we need about five things for this simple um, rustic arrangement. We need a vessel, of course, tape, scotch tape, scissors, chicken wire and pliers to hold the thing down, and of course, flowers! <laughs> so, let's go and shop for flowers, shall we? Hi, so we're here at my favorite flower market. So the first step in doing your centerpiece, flower centerpiece, is getting your ingredients. It's summer here in Australia, so there's a variety of flowers. So we have the peonies, not peonies, and dahlias, hydrangeas, my favorite, and the lavender. So come on, join us. gonna be a pink Christmas. So we already have our main flowers. We chose peonies because yes. they're Emil's favorite. Our friend Emil's favorite. We have hydrangeas which are, which are your favorite. My favorite. Yeah. And we have for fillers, we have celosia. And now I think it's time I to I think buy. we're done. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the eucalyptus leaves. This is actually what koala eats. So that's why we're choosing it because it's so Australia. Okay, we got everything we need. So let's head back and start arranging. So we're back with my friend Emil and Carla. Hi. Hi! So what did we buy from the flower market? So we have the main flowers which are the peonies and hydrangea. For the accent and the filler flowers, we have the celosia. This will add a bit of body and movement into your arrangement. And of course, one of my favorites, the Queen Anne's Lace. And we also bought some foliage, just a little bit of greenery. So we bought eucalyptus and some pine leaves. If you notice, we don't have floral foams today. Okay. So instead of floral foams that are extremely bad for the environment because they're single-use mm, foam, you know, okay. when you, after you use them, they go into the landfill and it takes years for them to okay. disintegrate. So instead of using foams today, we're just using chicken wire. Mm -hmm. So if you have chicken wire, like you guys do, you just need to fold them in into some kind of a ball at the bottom of the vessel okay so it's like that so this will help keep the flowers in place 
So another thing to keep them in place is making grids using the scotch tape. So make maybe five columns of scotch tape. Then we need to add at least one fourth, one fourth of the bowl, you know, water uh, up to like one fourth of the bowl. Not too high, because when you start adding flowers, mm -hmm. it'll overflow. Mm -hmm. So the water should just be maybe one fourth of your vessel. Here comes the fun part. This is where we assemble our flower arrangements. So if you have a container or a vessel, you want it to be high enough that you see the person sitting in front of you. So you can't make something this big when it's for a dinner table. So we are making something about this high and about this wide. Okay, I usually start with a foliage. Okay. Foliage is the base of your arrangement. So it will determine how wide your flowers are going to be. Let's start with the pine. Okay. With your floral scissors, careful now. You want to cut small pieces, something about this high, and then you can start putting them in like here. So I usually start by putting foliage in four parts of the vessel. So I put some Put something here, 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 and here. Imagine making the sign of the cross. Next, I usually jump into our main flowers. So we want to create things from big to small. So let's start with the peonies. So cut them into Shorter. Shorter. Oh, yeah. shorter. Okay. Take out the leaves. Ah, uh, okay. Oh, take out the leaves. Geez. If it makes it easier, you can take out the leaves. Why not? So if you can see, it's really quite full already. Yeah, it is. Wow. It's actually good to go now. <laughs> like, I'm done. I'm, I'm done. done. Yes, I'm done. <laughs> this is it. Okay, this is it. Flower and this is it. After we put the huge elements, let's put the fillers. They're called the fillers because they actually fill the spaces in between the big items. So, you put them randomly. Like, because it's rustic, you want to make it appear like it's straight out of nature. But wait, there's more! There's more! These are called Queen Anne's Lace. For the last bit, we have the eucalyptus. So we just put these such that they... I smelled it. <laughs> so good. Mm, nice. You want to put them like that. Like oh, on the side. Like, yeah. Okay. So there you have it. This is our final product. But wait, there's more. We want to make this for a Christmas setup. So I've got some gold driftwood, which I spray painted myself. If you have these in your backyard, just get them and just spray paint them in whatever color you want. But because it's Christmas, we want, we want to make everything sparkly basically. So we can put these in the middle of the arrangements. And then one very Aussie thing. <laughs> so just put them in the middle. 
and maybe some repurposed jars that you have lying around. These are all old jars that I have and that I just wrap them in gold gold leaf. So you can put them in the middle as well. So while you chat with your guests, you can really just play around with your centerpiece as well. So there you have it guys. So thank you so much Carla for teaching us with this DIY flower centerpiece arrangement. It's so easy guys. So you should do it this Christmas. And thank you everyone for watching. So keep on watching and stay tuned for more videos. Bye!